I want to talk about this, um, this terrible girl from Nana. This is Junko. Um, she is Nana's closest friend. And they knew each other back in high school. Um, but she's got a problem. Um, so it's very apparent that Nana she's got problems with love and like boys and not really knowing what she wants she had like a whole thing with a married man in high school um that's not her fault that's on the man but enters Shoji from art school um Nana and Shoji are friends for a little while and he, honestly he sucks but that's not the that is the point they end up getting together and um Shoji's in Tokyo and Nana's like I want to move to Tokyo too so eventually she moves to Tokyo where she rooms with another girl named Nana and she gets a job she's feeling herself well at first she's not she's like broke and has no idea how to do her life but she gets a job and she's doing well for herself because that's what Shoji wanted her to do but then he gets all upset that she's independent and doing what she's supposed to do. And so he meets this girl named Sachiko. And um, this is a girl that Nana manifested because anytime she was upset, she was just like, the demon lord is about to bring Sachiko up in here and you're going to cheat on me. And he's like, I don't even know who that is. And lo and behold, big foreheaded girl right here showed up. Now. This is where this comes into play. Junko always has some snidey comment to make about Nana, how she's not responsible, she's a baby, she can't do things for herself, blah, blah, blah. Everything, all her ideas are just not right. And so she kind of warns Shoji, hey, don't cheat on Nana with Sachiko, this, that, and the other. I see how y'all are acting with each other. And then Shoji's like, I wouldn't do that. But then he ends up doing that. And then they just don't tell her. They don't tell her what he did and Nana was Junko's friend first so when Nana finds out at uh Shoji's job because Sachiko and them work together they had this whole thing she found out at the job this Nana was like square up like uh fight for him but Nana was like no I'm not gonna do that I don't want him so after all that, Nana is crying about it. She's like, oh my God, he cheated on me, this, that, and the other. And then this girl going to say, well, you weren't making any time for him. What do you think he's going to do? Like, like she's in the wrong. She sucks. Like, I hate her. Blame her for getting cheated on.